During his studies at Cambridge, at the age of 21, he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Doctors gave him two years to live. He could barely stand then, but his mind was just beginning to expand. Stephen Hawking was born on January 8, 1942, in Oxford, exactly 300 years after the death of Galileo Galilei. Even as a child, he showed extraordinary curiosity, but there was no hint that he would become one of the most influential minds in the history of science. Despite progressive paralysis, Hawking developed revolutionary ideas about the origin of the universe. Together with Roger Penrose, he proved that the Big Bang was an inevitable consequence of general relativity. In 1974, a discovery was made that would change cosmology forever, Hawking radiation, the theory that black holes are not eternal, but slowly evaporate. As he lost control of his body, his voice was replaced by a machine, but the messages he sent were stronger than ever. The book, A Brief History of Time, from 1988, sold millions of copies and brought the deepest secrets of the universe closer to ordinary people around the world. Hawking didn't just explore the cosmos, he wondered about the fate of humanity, artificial intelligence, time, and the multiverse. Until his last days, he worked on a theory that would reconcile quantum mechanics and relativity. Stephen Hawking died on March 14, 2018, Albert Einstein's birthday. His body weakened, but his mind remained among the stars forever.